Welcome, Riddle fifth graders. Welcome to video seven. Holy cow. On to video number seven. In the past weeks, we have made um, a sunset. We've made the candy bar. Uh, we were looking at the Chuck Close, uh, who did photorealism, and we looked at some realism. So then we, we made the apple. We did uh, the abstract. We looked into Pablo Picasso, learned a little bit about Picasso, and we learned a little bit about abstract non-objective art, which some of you really liked. Um, today, um, you don't have to work large. You can work small. So I've been working on what I call as art cards. They're small. Look at that. And this is nice and easy for me to keep them, and they're faster to work with. In normal art classes at school, we I introduce art projects and then we work on it for a couple weeks. So we're really going through a lot of projects when we're doing these drawings. So I am a fan of working small. This is my favorite one right here. Vasily Kandinsky, the music man. And here's my Picasso face. Well, here's one of them. There it is, like that. So today we're going to be making a pumpkin. First day of fall was September 22nd and we are going to be doing something with a pumpkin but instead of just a regular looking pumpkin and you know and getting the whole pumpkin in there a lot of times artists will look at things in a different way so uh, an artist instead of just making that entire pumpkin and make it fit right on the paper and have it all in there fit nice and everything uh, they might get like extremely close for example here's my crayon box like I could zoom in and just get a small section and then when you look at it, you'll be like, well, that's a crayon box, but it's only like a small area of that crayon box. You don't have to draw the whole thing. So by choosing a smaller section of a, on a project, it can kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. So to start with this up close picture of a pumpkin, I'm gonna start with a stem. I'm gonna make that stem, the top of the stem where it broke off. And then I'm gonna start making them these curved lines of where that stem kind of goes into the pumpkin. Make some lines on it like this. And it looks like that. So to do this, I started with this shape. That's the top of the stem. And then I just curved, curled it, curl it, curl it, curl it, curl it. Kind of like a weird shape. So it looks like that. So while I'm here, I might as well just color the stem in. So I'm gonna take a brown. We're gonna Go around it first on a stem on a pumpkin. So I grew a lot of pumpkins this year, mostly small ones, but it was just just for fun, just for just for giggles, and I just wanted to see if I could do it and something for my kids to, to pick them, and then we have we can paint on them or carve them or whatever. And turns out we're just we've given a lot away. So I've just simply colored it in brown, pretty much. Put a little bit of green on it. Maybe I should make the top of it darker. Next step, I'm going to take my pencil now. And with my pencil, I'm going to make these lines coming of curving away from that. It looks like a pumpkin up close. So each of those lines is curving off the page. And I just used a pencil in case I messed up. Next step, I'm going to use... Use a little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow here, just a little bit of yellow here, a little bit of yellow in the middle, and next I want to use a little bit of orange. This is a yellow orange, see that? I'm going to use this yellow orange here, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave a little bit of white. So I'm using the yellow orange in each section. I'm leaving a little bit of white. I'm gonna color it all the way out thing. See what I did there? Got a little bit of yellow orange. So I'm working with the lighter colors first. You look at that. Next, I'm going to take that reddish orange. I'm going to start pushing that reddish orange now. Actually, that 
reddish orange is going to go up against my pencil lines. What I should have did was probably use my regular orange, but I'm using the darker color now, and I'm going up against my pencil lines. So then there's still a little space in here. Let's see what that looks like. And now I'm going to use the regular orange. And I'm going to press hard. Put a nice pumpkin orange color in here. And I'm blending that orange with everything. Man, that looks pretty cool. I'm just using that orange now, and it's blending with those other two colors that I've done. Other colors I've used. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Now, those pencil lines. I need to go over those pencil lines with the brown. Create some separation there. And it looks like I probably colored too hard with my red orange. But I want to get that that shading kind of in those those grooves. Are going to make some darker areas. Where the shadows, because light doesn't, you know, get inside of where those those grooves are. Got a little bit of brown in here. I, I need that little stem. Sometimes the, the stems on them ugh, color too hard. It's hard to see my stem line. Get that little stem. That. Close up of a pumpkin. Now looking at it, that white's kind of showing our full. Too much of a white. So I'm going to color a little bit and get rid of some of that whitish. I don't want it to be that shiny. Good to tone it down a little. That's what you call it. Tone it down. It's a little bit better. And there is the close up of my pumpkin. So this is week seven. Looks like my stem needs some more too. Right now it looks like it needs some more coloring on it. Okay. All right. I look forward to seeing this. Please post it. Um, I appreciate what you guys are doing, um, working on these projects and sending them in for me. Um, keep up the good work, and I will keep posting videos for you. I look forward to seeing you. See you later.